Hey, Bulls and Bears, it's Sunday, June 12th, 2022. The financial strain is about to get worse. And yes, many investors right now are deep in the red, underwater on their investments, and they're wondering, where is the bottom? Uh, and a lot of people did have cash. Some people that did have cash came in and bought what they thought was the dip, but the dip keeps on dipping. Uh, the stock market, the worst week since January. And this is coming off of the recent CPI data, which showed inflation continues to get worse, the consumer price index, and a lot of fear about more aggressive rate hikes ahead. And markets are forward looking. So as the chattering continues of tightening, as more rising rates, the pain will continue. So for those thinking that you're buying the dip, um, you might want to think about how markets actually operate and hold on to some cash because uh, there could be a lot more red ahead of us. In fact, I think we're just getting started. Unless they reverse course on these rate hikes or the talks of rate hikes, unless they reverse course on the quantitative tightening and go back to easing again, meaning they're going to start growing the balance sheet again, um, this is the direction things are headed for the foreseeable future. And I know most of you on this channel know this, but I'd say 99% of the public out there, probably 99.9, .9, do not know that the markets, that the economy was just about completely, I'd say 99% driven by this money machine behind the scenes that really most people don't think about. So when the easing ends, so does the easy money. Easy money creates the illusion of economic growth and now we're seeing just the opposite economic contraction um, so hold your cash if you can and it's crazy times right now it's tough to even hold cash with the cost of everything so uh, a lot of people that even had good intentions they knew this was coming uh, they tried to hold on some cash to have uh, money for better buying opportunities down the road uh, they're having a difficult time uh, which is the cost of everything seems like it's skyrocketing. Speaking of bear markets, bull boom, bear bust, ride the bull, prepare for the bear. Um, a lot of people out there, investors and uh, financial news people, they'll point to a bear market as when 20% declines uh, happen. And right now the S&P 500 is just about 20% down from its highs. And this was at the beginning of the year. We called the top for you. Uh, some people say, hey, you didn't call the top. The top was in late December, early January. But what you have to do is you have to look at the chart. You have to look for the uh, trend. You have to look for lower highs and lower lows. And in early to mid-February, that's when we noticed the chart was starting to uh, make that trend. And yes, the top or the high, depending on what indice you're looking at, um, S&P, Dow Jones, the top is either in late January or early January rather late December but we noticed the downtrend starting in early to mid February but it was no secret because we already knew that the talk of tightening uh, was out there so we were just waiting for the trend to develop uh, so yes the bear market is here and it's likely going to get even worse and here's what happened on Friday the 10th Dow Jones down almost 900 points, 2.73%. Um, the S&P down 2.9. NASDAQ 3.5, the biggest loser of the day. Russell 2000 down 2.7%. Absolutely horrific week for investors that are holding or people that bought what they thought was the dip uh, back a few weeks ago. And yes, you may see some green days here and there, maybe even a green week. Uh, but remember, markets don't go up or down in a straight line. So don't let these bounces fool you, what many people would call a dead cat bounce. Jumping out now to a more broader view, emerging markets drive global debt to $303 trillion. That is out of the IIF. Um, it continues to amaze me, and I think a lot of you, that um, the money creation that got us into this mess is still what's being implemented as the solution now we're tightening now um will that continue will they reverse course will they start qe to infinity or restart qe to infinity i should say 
Uh, if they keep tightening, asset prices are going to be destroyed. But if they turn around and re-implement the QE to infinity, um, hyperinflation is where we're headed. But just because markets are going down doesn't mean that everything is going down. Look, look at the cost of rents, housing, look at the fuel. So we have this really, really um, lethal combination for those that are in the wrong position of rising cost of living and falling market prices. So now this wealth effect, this wealth illusion for people that had big stock market gains, for example, their 401ks, their portfolios are not looking so good. But rents keep rising. We have Wall Street, uh, big money continuing to come in and uh, buy homes and really jack up the rent prices for so many people. Another warning out of Goldman Sachs, the U.S. job market is rapidly cooling. Softer company level hiring expectations and slower GDP growth in the second half of the year point to slower payroll growth in the coming months. Um, it's not anything that any of you should be surprised about. We've been warning about that the second half of this year. Um, it's going to be uh, very, very painful uh, for a lot of people as this uh, bear market continues to roar. Now, there seems to be very little relief in sight. In fact, uh, people are starting to put out things like this. Buying $200 worth of groceries in 2022, it feels like you're coming out of the grocery store with a lot less and spending a lot more uh, because that's what's happening. And the uh, U.S. consumer, which is the driver of the economy via spending and taking on debt, taking out loans, um, the economy now is fading along with the purchasing power of the U.S. consumer. And folks, if you're feeling bad, if inflation has you down, don't feel bad. Even Batman is having to cut back due to inflation. All right, everybody, hope you guys like this update, news flash, news brief today. Uh, hope to see you very, very soon back on this channel. Please make sure that you like and subscribe if you like what we talk about here. Come back for more news updates to keep ahead of the curve on the U.S. economy financial system. And how can you prepare? Well, one, keep stacking. What does that mean? That means keep stacking what you need. Now, it's different for everybody. Some people... Uh, say you need all cash that we can come in and buy when the buying opportunities are here. Uh, some people say you need a stack to prepare, uh, get canned food. If you think there's going to be shortages, I think there's going to be uh, more rising prices ahead. We see what's happening with the food plants. Keep stacking food. Keep your cupboards full. Uh, expand out into a shed. If you have a yard, maybe get a shed so you have more room to store stuff. If you don't have one already. Uh, just a few things that I'm doing. I'm not giving any recommendations because everyone is different. Um, you know, for example, don't spend all your money on canned food and then you can't afford to pay the light bill uh, or the um, fill, fill up your car. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's different, but keep stacking in your own way and come back for more news updates to stay on top of things. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now. Peace.